How's it going everyone? I am Alpharius and welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint Horus Heresy Alpha Legion for Warhammer 30k. This is a non-metallic color scheme inspired by the pictures on the Heresy books and this is what I came up with. If you like this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay after the video to know how you can support my channel. We're going to start by priming the model in black and I'm using a cheap Rustolium primer. You can use any primer that you like. We're going for a dark color scheme so I suggest you use black. And what I'm going to do is give the model a first coat of Steged and Scale Green. And for that I'm using a flat brush and I'm just uh, painting the whole model very quickly. This is a great way to base coat your models. Just uh, move around quickly, spread the paint uh, thin don't use it straight out of the pot, use a little bit of water to thin it down and uh, move around the model, not trying to paint the same place for too long so that you don't end up brushing drying paint around. Next I used Drakenhof Nightshade and with this color I washed the recesses with a fine detail brush and you basically just line all of the recesses with this color to give it a shadow and this is a very easy step to do, if you mess up you can clean up but you only just want to get a very dark blue shade on the recesses of this model. Alpha Legion color schemes vary from greens to blues. This is a very bluish uh, with a hint of green color scheme and I think it looks very good. Next I'm using Steged and Scale Green again. This time it's just to clean up places where you might have used too much wash and just uh, clean up the model. Next I'm going to go ahead and use Sotek Green and with this color I'm going to edge highlight all of the edges around the armor. This is a very easy step, don't be afraid to use it uh, a little liberally because we are going to use another highlight afterwards and you can always push it back with Stegon and Scale Green if you use too much but you just try, you're just trying to pick up all of the edges on this model to make them pop a little bit. Don't forget to thin down your paint, I'm using drying retarder to help the paint stay wet for longer and help me out with the uh, edge highlighting and uh, that's it. After that I'm going to do an extreme highlight with temple guard blue and this is just on the very sharpest edges. You can use it all around if you want, but I try to use it minimally and try to keep uh, some of the previous highlight showing on some places. So I'm just picking uh, very uh, sharp curves and edges around the model and just uh, giving them a very thin edge highlight. After that, I'm going to use Abaddon Black and I'm going to start painting all of the places that are going to be black and silver. You don't have to paint all the places that are going to be silver, I just like to do that because silver looks better over black, but and if you miss any spots it's going to be black and it looks good on iron. So I'm just uh, painting all these uh, places with a medium sized brush, I'm using a size 1 brush and just uh, base coating these places. After that's dry, I'm going to use Lead Belcher and I'm going to paint the silver areas with this. This is a very easy step, don't forget to water down your metallic paints because they tend to get tacky very fast. So water them down and start uh, painting all of these places with your size 1 brush or a detail brush on places hard to reach. And that's it.
Next, I'm gonna wash the model with Noom Oil. This is only uh, gonna go on the silver areas, not the whole model. The armor is finished. We only need to paint the silver and the eyes on the model. Once that's done and dry, I'm going to use Eschen Grey to edge highlight the bolter on the bolter case only. The places that are black, you, if you choose to paint the shoulder pads black or something else, you can use this um, as an edge highlight as well. After that, I'm going to use Soundstone, and this is only uh, an extreme highlight for the black places and this is going on the hard edges of the black. After that's done, I'm going to start using Runefang Steel to edge highlight all of the silver areas around the model. I chose uh, Runefang steel this time because it's almost a very bright, almost white metal color and I'm trying to bring out uh, the highlights on the metal to contrast the very dark color scheme of the armor. So after that we only have to paint the eyes and I'm going to start with corn red to paint the whole lens on the model. After that I'm using Wild Rider Red and this is to paint the half front part of the lens. Then I'm going to touch it on the very front part with Fire Dragon Bright to give it to give it a fiery glow. And as always finishing it off with White Scar as a reflection of light on the back. And this is the finished model. Alpha Legion is a pretty tricky color scheme to pull off because there's a lot of interpretations. The fluff says that it's a metallic dark blue green. I didn't went for metallic because we don't have those paints on acrylic colors, but uh, this is the way I would paint them and I'm very happy with the result. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it entertaining and helpful. And if you would like to help my channel, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Leave a comment to let me know what you would like to see me paint next. And if you can, become my Patreon. That really helps me out. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.